fumigating classrooms as a health emergency grows in Peru, where dengue cases are climbing into the tens of thousands. Unfortunately, there are no hospitals and everyone is being treated here in the city of Casma, which is collapsing with the lack of stretchers. Sustained heat and heavy rain are spurring on the mosquito-borne disease in the region. Brazil declared a health emergency earlier in February and is looking to an unorthodox solution. The rain comes again, the heat rises and the eggs that were dormant since last year, they hatch and become adult mosquitoes. So we used the biology of the species itself in our favour. It's trialling the release of genetically modified mosquitoes carrying a gene that will kill their female offspring. Water activates the eggs to hatch sleeper mosquitoes that will pass down the killer gene. They complete their cycle inside these boxes in about 10 days and the adult insects come out to do their work. At first we had to put the city on alert and now we can see the quick reduction in cases. We hope the next measurement will show a reduction of 20% so we can get out of this state of emergency. Some local mosquito populations have cratered by more than 90% post-release. Further afield, a more traditional solution. Healthcare workers are rolling out a child dengue vaccine to the relief of some parents. We've had dengue fever four times and it's very bad. It can kill a child. I'm afraid for my son who is autistic and I'm afraid he will get sick. He has an asthma problem. They are so vulnerable. This vaccine is very good. I was very happy the vaccine arrived so quickly in our community. The healthcare workers are visiting Brazil's remote indigenous communities. Not everyone has a means of transport to reach a healthcare centre. So we have a boat to reach each community and go to the homes of children who can't get to our health centres. Going to any length to stop the spread. Lachlan Patrick, ABC News.